So overwhelmed. Sometimes when I'm at so many people, <laughs> so much water. <laughs> she's still catching up, so she's quiet now. She's still like processing what is happening. <laughs> hey, Nunu. Turn, turn now. How's it going, Mama? I should go and talk to her. I know I'm going to try to make a, re a recap of what happened when I was away of how I spent my independent day basically we just were sitting down chilling just the three of us um, and then I, one moment one moment we decided to just go and join his family in Grand Palm so here we go She has never seen bad like she has never seen water in such volume in her life. <laughs> This monkeys are out here we to get us. At least we have okay. A okay, at least they're moving. At least they're the moving, the right? Because. Uh, Shoo! Shoo! What do you call it? But then, then the pizza is singing. Then the pizza is singing. So I'm chilling with this pizza. It's super chilled. Um, it's super. It's such a chilled day. It's around. It's about like ten minutes to six. It's super chilled. Everybody is chilling, having food and drinks. And I was gonna catch yeah, the sunset, but I'm it's gone already. Oh, let me show you guys. Brutal fruit here. They don't sell it inside, but I had my own, so yeah. I'm pretty tipsy, if you can tell. So, this is like a little glimpse of it, you know? This is like a little glimpse of it. It's not as cute as, as it was later on. I'm so tipsy. But these are the vibes. Like, Grand Palm is one of the places where I 
wouldn't mind coming here with my daughter and my man like chilling Yo, is this safe am i safe am i safe I'm so fascinated right now, like, <laughs> I thought I was gonna be attacked. It's good. Day two.
event it was, this event was held at um royal area in Klukweng. so um the reason why i didn't vlog or introduce this vlog is that all the two events that happened were not planned so on the second we went to Klukweng. we went pretty um i think it was around four and then let me talk about the the ticket first right so um we we got in with the vip tickets which were about 650 each you had to be given a welcome gin a sitting space um and a safe parking that's what i know right when we got there we got the tags and i think the tags were green we got there we do it inside the parking was very secure let me say that the parking was very secure we got inside there was a sitting space and there was it was so breathable there was not so many people in the in, uh, in the vip section than the the general section of which was a plus for me because i've never been to an a festival i don't know if it's a festival it was a festival or what but i've never been to an event where there were so many people you know because um i just have a phobia for that but it was a plus for me that uh at the vip section there was there weren't so many people right so yeah when we got there first of all we didn't get a welcome gin they said even snacks they didn't give us a welcome gin they didn't give us a welcome uh snacks uh we got there when uh mafiki zolo was performing lifetime experience i've never seen her before seen them before i've never seen them perform before and it was an experience for me i really really enjoyed it they are good performers she um made contact with uh, with us and you know like it was very very intimate the fact that i was just so close to the stage it was so insane for me it was fun and um the second act that i experienced that i really really loved was um was Sadata Seika's performance loved it priceless that girl is very talented before she went on stage because of course i went to her and asked for a photo and she's she's she, oh every time i meet her she's so sweet she's always been sweet she's very sweet she's very chilled and then there were traditional dances um there were traditional uh performances i don't know oh i think it is Zikaka. I think that Diga Kappa traditional dance group who performed loved it, loved. I've never seen the uh, live performance in my life, and it was such a great experience. I loved it so so much, and my people are just so talented, you know. And then there was a performance among Amanda Brown. Okay, first thing, Amanda Brown comes on stage and she sings the song that I didn't know, and I was like. Oh my god i'm seeing this girl for the first time and like i don't know what she's singing and then the performance wasn't that um and it's it's a well, well. so i was like i was just so i was so disappointed but after the performance um after the performance we also went out and checked on her checked her like talking and stuff like that and she's so that i didn't expect <laughs> she's short like i thought she was she was um taller but she's short but it's not like it's a bad thing like the thing is that i i've always thought her to be tall taller you know so and then she gets on stage again and you know what i've never had to love another a love person like that um i love a performance like that she's such a performer she like she's good with performance she's very very good we watch her performance she performed so good who performed again i mean like if i've forgotten uh, a performance that was there if i haven't talked about it now i'll just make sure that i put it out there so that you can see but i've always like heard people about it here vip is like vip as a good like vip doesn't have high normal solar that much like 
um he threw down my hala hair and stuff like that but i didn't experience it myself but i did experience it myself the fact that we didn't get the jean we didn't get the snacks like we got there and we we had our own drinks you know so it is crazy it was so crazy by the fact that we didn't let it but yeah it's nice in the in the in the sense of that you you're in the sense that you'll be close to, to close to the to the stage mingling with celebrities and uh performers and artists and things like that so in that sense it's nice and having to like have your own space out from like the crowd some would uh choose to go into the general public public because they love the experience they love the um having to meet people having to mingle with so many people like yeah but some don't really do and that was my first ever vip experience and i'm really grateful for okay we went with my boyfriend's side of the family and they that asked the vip passes and like this whole um independent celebration thing was all like covered by them so it was so nice it was so crazy and i just wanted to share it with you guys make sure you like subscribe comment share bye